Welcome back to King's Quest 2 on Sierra Saturday. Mm, it's Romancing the Throne. Sierra Saturday. King's Quest 2. Yeah. Oh, another Sierra classic. Classique. The story Classique, of yeah. how King Graham needed to get his rocks off. Well, I mean, we need we need an heir. Yeah. So, well, you know, you pretty, have to get the rocks yeah. off in order to get a son on the throne. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. When you peer into the old hollow log, you see a flashing necklace of diamonds and sapphires. Oh, a bracelet of diamonds and sapphires? Now a necklace of diamonds and sapphires. I'm seeing a theme. Get necklace. You pick it up and carry it with you. We did it! Yay! We won the game! Good We won the game. All right, time to go home. Thanks, everybody, for for watching. watching. We... Oh, I can't. Okay, yeah. That didn't last long. <laughs> no. It's okay. I wonder if there's jewelry in this log. Could be. L- look in log. You look in the old log, but see nothing special. Mm. Fine, then. Oh, I'm stuck on the tree. Oh. Mm. Wait, I can go fast again. Oh, yeah. That's safe, right? Going into strange screens that I've never been at. Well, I mean, the people who are inevitably going to come at you, bro, are also going to be moving fast. But well, well, that's true. Sizable hole. There's a sizable hole in one of the pine trees. Nice. Look in hole. You cannot see into the hole from here. Oh, right. Mm. I forgot I exist on a two D plane. <laughs> How about now? How about now? Oh my god, it actually works. I thought you had to climb up onto the rocks. I thought you were joking. You weren't. When you peek into the hole of the pine tree, you see a mallet lying there. Mallet in the hole. Take. Oh no. Oh jeez, he's Oh no! Oh no! (laughs) Holy shit, dude. I saw him for like one frame. (sighs) Alright, alright. Jesus, man. Jesus. That dwarf just sprinted at you. Yeah. Yeah. He was like a 28 days later zombie. Uh, Look in log. Yep. Get the necklace. Get necklace. Jeez. All right. So next time we get to that area, we'll get that mallet. Uh... As soon as we can, and probably also save. Yeah, I'm actually gonna save right now. That's a good idea. I I I, I can't stand that guy. That dwarf was a dick. A dwarf is a dick. A dick dwarf. All right, let's do this. Look in hole. Get mallet. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. There we go. All right. Okay. You might want to say oh. it again. Just be sure. Well, yeah. Sure. D- dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, very original. Oh, hey. No! This little. No! Oh. Low dwarf. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're, we're out of here. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, man. There is no escaping from him. He's a real... He's a real fuck nugget. Dick bag. Yeah. Okay, so we got the mallet. We got the... Okay. Got everything you let's, need before let's we go, go through the lock. door? Let's go... Yeah, let's go Let's go open that door. Oh, yeah. I am ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Fine, you're fine. Game. This game. They don't give you much time to react. It's true. Uh, All right. Unlock door. But um, the, the key to the first door fits easily into the keyhole. You turn the key, and presto, the door opens, and the key disappears, revealing a second door with another inscription. Oh, assholery. 
They called it the first door before they had the reveal. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> At least there's Come fewer on. typos in this one. Yeah, that's true. The inscription reads, Whoever whosoever. chooses to seek... Whosoever. That's right. Mm-hmm. I was like, that doesn't look right. Whosoever chooses to seek the key for this door should set their sights high. Mm. So we're going up this time. Yeah, you gotta spark it. <laughs> we're getting high. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're pushing our luck with this uh, rope bridge here. Oh uh, yeah, no kidding. So, uh, 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 all, right, all right, all right. I I hate that that dwarf is a thing. <laughs> I agree. You know what I mean? Yep. A beautiful fairy floats down from the sky. Oh, how lovely. Hello, fiery. The fairy starts to sprinkle fairy dust on you. Good King Graham, I am here to help you, she says. I give you a protective spell against certain evil elements. But beware, for it lasts only a short time. Mm, okay. You couldn't give that to us to use when we wanted to use it oh and then she just Whatever. disappeared never to be you're seen you're darn right I mean it was nice that she did that for you and all I'm not gonna complain yeah about she's that. cool yeah I like her I think she's I think she's cool you might want to change the normal open speed. door oh it's a monk yeah I'm going to pray to God, I guess. Christian imagery. <laughs> Neil. Neil? No. Nope. Talk to the monk. Neil? Pray? Pray? Pry? <laughs> Pry? Pry into his life? There you go. You, you kneel near the altar. Bowing your head, you pray. All right. The plump monk lifts his head from prayer and seems to notice you for the first time. He stands and asks your name. My name is Graham. Mm. The kindly monk explains that he has heard of you and your quest. Here is my cross. It will protect you from evil, he says. He removes a chain with a silver cross from around his neck. And gives it to you. The monk then resumes his prayers. Fair enough. Thanks, monk. Good job, monk. monk. I love you. Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I should go I should go to normal. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, yeah. I just feel like time is probably passing faster when you've got fast on. And, like that fairy defense spell is only going to last so much time, right? Yeah, that's true. Mm. Look whole. Mm. There's a glittering diamond and sapphire brooch lying on the ground in the opening between the rocks. What a surprise! More diamond and sapphire get the... here. Yeah, you get the brooch. You understand it. <laughs> you get it. You get it more than most people. Ah. Uh. I bet you the dwarf can't swim. Yeah, it understands you. You understand it. I sure do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go this way. Just. <laughs> oh, look at this! Ooh. What over here? Look. House. A hoose. This. This is a quaint little antique shop. It's an There's antique a sign shop. In the okay. window. All right. Ugh. Ugh, ugh. What says eat? <laughs> Come on, bushes, get out of my way. <laughs> I have important work to do. I must navigate Read around you. Sign. 
The sign says open. That's good. If I... All right. Yeah. Open door. A little old lady in the antique shop... Antique. Antique. Yep. Antique shop says... How may I help you? Oh, oh my. Yeah. yeah, well, she's polite at yep. least. You know. Yep. It's like Evelyn in Stardew. Except we can't run yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yep. Let's give. All right. Cage. Ah. Actually, no. No. Let, let's let's talk to her. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Talk to old lady. Let's see what she has to say. The little old lady motions towards an old oil lamp. Mm. This is a new item in my shop. She says. I thought you might be interested in it. <laughs> I guess she's like. Here's my newest inventory, as though you are a returning customer and don't and recognize what's new and what isn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you the cage. Yep. Just you're just gonna shut up. In exchange. You hand the bird cage with the nightingale to the little old lady. My precious oh. She exclaims. My precious <laughs> In gratitude she gives you the oil lamp. Mm. Good luck she says. She hastens you out of the door and just closes up. Shit. Kicks you out. <laughs> Got my bird back. No need to sell shit anymore. Well, I guess I can't go in there anymore. You got all my valuable merchandise. The rest is bullshit. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do something crazy here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. We're going to get wild. Oh. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to save the game. Okay. <laughs> is this dangerous? Get, getting high. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? I've got my... I've got Rub. My white rabbit going. Dun, 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 Rub dun, the lamp. Dun, 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 <gasps> Oh! <laughs> oh man oh my when you rub the tarnished brash lamp brash the brash lamp. Up, poof <laughs> and a genie appears master he says I leave a gift for you mm. a magic carpet the genie then poofs back into the lamp wow he didn't he didn't ask what you wanted he was like eh here you go this will work can you imagine can you imagine? I got a carpet. Mm. I can show you the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Rub, rub the lamp again. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay. When you rub the lamp, you hear a loud poof, and a genie magically appears. Mm -hmm. Master, he says. I leave a gift for you. Oh, another one. A beautiful sword. And the genie then disappears in a puff of smoke. Ah, oh, okay. I figured he was just going to start to get annoyed with you, but... Uh, let's let's rub the lamp again. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's do this. See what other presents he's got this, for you. This is too good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this music. <laughs> <laughs> Using your sleeve as a cloth, you rub the lamp, causing the genie to appear again. <laughs> Master, he says, I leave a gift for you. A leather bridle. Then the genie pops back into the lamp. Oh, no. The lamp has disappeared from your hands. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to be like, you got your three wishes. Do this one more time and he will fuck your shit up. But they were kind enough uh, to just take it out of your inventory because they don't want you to have it anymore. Ride carpet. Uh-oh! Oh, SpaghettiOs. I can... What the hell happened? I don't know. <laughs> we had a freeze. We're back. Yep. Oh. Hold on. Sorry, everybody. No, it's good. Okay, we're gonna fix... Oh. We're gonna figure this out. We, uh... Yeah. We have to, uh, well, well, we'll see you next time. We're out of time anyway. Oh, whoa, just, why? No. No. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we'll be back. This never happened. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. God, what the hell?